It's been confirmed that the aliens have landed. Hello once again Rays fans and welcome to another exciting Formula Rock highlight video. It's round number 13 of season 8 at the St. Petersburg Street Course in Florida. We had 13 drivers eventually show for this event but only 10 actually rolled off for the 40 lap event. So there you go. It's our first time in St. Petersburg and we're ready to go. Taking his first pole position of the season, number three, Randy R3, ran a 1 minute 04.404 second lap, which is pretty screaming around this track, although Mark B, who started outside front row, was faster in practice. All right, we get ready to take the green flag for, as I said, 40 laps of exciting racing action. As we come down the main straight, the green is out. Randy R3 stands on the gas, and he will lead the field into turn one for the first time of, as I said, 40 laps. Interesting camera angle can't tell what's going on, but that's the field going through turn one for the first time in second place As I said mark B. He was fastest in practice He is running in second place apparently tapped the wall during qualifying started second Anyway, he's running second as the race gets underway in third place the man who wanted the racer more than anybody from Florida number 327 Camaro guy 327 he's running side by side with the scuba one it's a drag race, but Camaro Guy 327 has the line. He will hang on to third place as this first lap continues on its way. In fourth, as we said, number five, Escuba 1, coming into the tricky final corner. As you can clearly see, tough corner left back out of this really wide front straight, Escuba 1 in fourth place. In fifth, our current points leader, number 17, Snake Oil, in the Auto Pack sponsored ride in, or Auto Photo Pack, whatever. I'm sorry, whatever it is, it's that car right there. All right, and the field continues on behind Snake Oil on the second lap. Number 15, DBD, is going to clobber the inside wall just, ooh, just a little bit. Holds everybody up. Nothing happens bad. Everybody continues. DVD on his way. Behind DVD, number 60, Dixie Dan in his traditional Tennessee Vol sponsored ride coming through that infield section. And looking good. All right, then. Behind Dixie Dan, we have number 011, Lance Mofo Noop, coming down the quickest part of the section, or quickest part of the track, excuse me, into this tricky left-hander. Nice going. Under the Vodafone crossover bridge, we have behind Lance Mofo Noop, number 78, Crazy Marv. In the Drooper's Ride, final corner, drag race down the front straight, Crazy Marv will pick up the position for this part of the event, and behind them... Oh, I guess he doesn't pick it up. Anyway, behind them, taking it easy at the start, number 53, Row Warrior, and that's your field. Anyway, back up front, Randy R3 has a nice little lead on lap number three over Mark B. As Formula Rock continues on its way with the first time we've ever run at St. Peter Petersburg, now you know. All right, Camaro guy running in third place. He's minding his own business, taking it easy, just settling down as the race begins, and suddenly, for no reason, out of the blue... Oh no, Cra or Camaro guy 327 kidnapped by aliens from the event. Oh man, that's horrible. That elevates this driver, number five, a scuba one, into third place behind Mark B as the race continues on. All right, this is probably the best battle on the track. Number 78, Crazy Marv, right behind Lance Mofo Noop. These two guys duking it out since the green flag fell. Crazy Marv pulls off the pass at this stage of the event. All right, then. A second later, Lance Mofanoop goes way wide, keeps it off the wall, but that's going to allow Row Warrior past picking up a position. You're now going to be on board with Mark B in second place. That's the leader, Randy R3, ahead of him as we're running through the tricky part of this track. Very fast and very slow. It's it, Fast and slow is kind of the name of the game at this racetrack, going under the Vodafone crossover bridge. Interesting track. Very fun to race on, however. All right, number 15, DBD. Running in about sixth place, he's got Snake Oil right behind him. Good battle on the racetrack for the Rock Gold Car, but he's way off line. Oh, 
man, he clobbers that tire barrier, and he gets locked in, and that's going to be a tow truck call for DVD. Unfortunate early on. Oh, man. And then Crazy Marv tags the tire berry as well, but he doesn't get stuck. Row Warrior gets by, but he's allowed to continue on, unlike DVD, who had to call for a tow truck. All right, back up front. About lap number six now. Randy R3 still has the lead, but Mark B has closed in quite a bit. Good battle on the racetrack for the lead at this stage of the event. Moments later, number 17, Snake Oil. Oh, excuse me. That's not the case. It's... I believe that's Camaro Guy, 327. Gets himself away from the aliens. That, that's what it is, and he's back on the racetrack. Wow, creepy. All right, then the battle between Lance Mofo Noop and Crazy Marv continues lap after lap between these two guys here at St. Petersburg. All right, then. We're now looking at Road Warrior, who's moved himself into the top five by this stage of the event. Was running last the first couple laps, but patience is really paying off for the... Oh, for, for row. There you go. <laughs> All right. This is third running at Scuba 1. He's closing up, as you can see, on the top two drivers, making it a three-car battle as we get to the end of lap number seven. Snake Oil minding his own business, cruising along in fourth place, out of the blue for no reason at all for the second week in a row. Oh, no. Aliens kidnap Snake Oil, our current points leader, and that's just really hard on his points championship fight. All right. Keeps it off the wall, Crazy Mar, but that's going to allow Lance Mufin to... Oh, I'm sorry, Snake Oil re gets himself away from the aliens as I was talking about Lance Mofo Noob and Crazy Marv and tied myself up on my own language. Now we got the battle for the lead. It's side by side through the place you can't really go side by side. Incredible racing. Both guys have managed to race each other without hitting each other. And Mark B takes over the lead, but it's a three car fight coming down through one of the quicker sections of that infield section. Randy R3 running right there behind him in second place. Scuba 1 and 3rd are coming to the final corner as we clock off another lap. Oh, no, we got contact. Oh. Let's look at that again. Mark B has the lead. Randy R3 right behind him. Scuba 1 and 3rd leads his break just a little late. Oh, a huge hit for Randy R3. That's going to take him out. Let's look at that one more time. Scuba 1 leads his break. Oh, just a little bit late. Randy R3 is stuffing the wall. And he is out of the race with a damaged motor. So that will elevate this driver, number 60, Dixie Dan, up to third place in the early stages of, stages of this event. In fourth, Row Warrior now moves up a position as well as the race continues on. You're looking at number 15, DBD, on the racetrack. Finally got out of the pits again. He was in there quite a while, but he's going on his way. All right, the battle between Lance Mofo Noop and Crazy Marv continues as we've been talking since the green flag fell. These two guys are just after each other this entire event. The final corner, Crazy Marv goes way low. It's a drag race. Looks like he's going to pull off the pass this time. All right, your leader, Mark B, kind of having it his own way now. Nobody behind him at this stage of the event. Quite the lead as he comes through the Vodafone cr uh, S's. All right, then, Lance Mofo Noop. Oh! Has the leader right behind him, overcooked it, tapped the tire barrier, but he will continue in seconds later. DBD, oh man, slams that tire barrier, but he'll keep it going. Yeah. Whoa, street courses can be tough that way. All right, your leader now, Mark B, watch his back. Oh, he's just lost third gear, and that's going to really throw off his momentum. You got to have second and third at this racetrack. Lots of slow corners, and that's going to allow a scuba one to really close in. Speaking of a scuba one, you're on board as Mark B struggles missing a gear at a track you really can't afford to be missing a gear. So a scuba one closing in on him at this stage of the event. We're coming up on halfway, and it's a good battle between the two cars up front. Snake Oil back on the racetrack. Oh, driving the wheels off of that thing. He's in eighth place at this stage of the event, but it's Crazy Marv, the first of your cars taking his pit stop right here seconds later. Lance Mofo Noop is in for his pit stop as well. All right, then back on the racetrack, number 327, Camaro Guy 327, up in the top seven cars at this stage of the event. Your leader now, Mark B, is in the pits. This is going to be tricky for the lead cars. Let's watch this. Handing the lead now to second running number five, a scuba one. He now has the lead, but he's going to have to stop for pits, or for fuel and tires here pretty quick. Your kidnapped driver, Snake Oil's in for his stop. 
Dixie Dan's in for his stop, and right behind Dixie Dan is going to be your leader, number five, a scuba one, it, uh, making his one. Oh boy, I wish I could talk. Making his stop. That's going to put the pressure on this driver, number 043, Mark B. He's got to have a quick lap to get the to get the lead back as he comes through the final corners. Let's jump on board with Mark B. Now watch the right side upper screen coming out of the pitch just in front of him. That's a scuba one and Dixie Dan. Dixie Dan not for position, but a scuba one is able to hang on to the lead after pit stops. That puts the pressure on Mark B. So a scuba one's team keeps him out front after the, the pit stop. And this would be a scuba one right here with the lead. Now you know. That's Mark B right behind him, but he's missing a gear, so he's struggling. Road Warrior is going to drop out of third place for his stop. And that hands third place to this driver once again, number 60, Dixie Dan, who has pitted. So Dixie Dan back in third. All right, then, whoa, on the gas, number 17, Snake Oil, trying to make up for that alien abduction, is now in the top five. The battle between the top two cars, this is going to go on for most of the race. Number five, a scuba one with the lead, Mark B right behind him in second, although he's missing that all-important third gear. And as you can see on the faster sections, the scuba one's able to pull away. Coming down the main street. They had a Bob, our cameraman, there. All right, it's a battle between Dixie Dan and third. Snake Oil's moved into fourth. This is the fight for third place late in the event. A great race on the track as the laps are winding down between these two drivers. All right, a, little couple, a couple of corners later. Oh, Dixie Dan taps the wall. Snake Oil has the run and picks up third place. Nice move by Snake Oil as Dixie Dan tags the wall. All righty then. Coming through the final corners. Mark B's going to get on the break. Loses it. Ooh, that was a hard shot for Mark B. He's going to drop a couple of seconds. And that's going to put him behind the eight ball because he's going to be trying to make up ground. Carrying a little bit too much speed into this tough corner right here. And it's going to go all wrong right here for Mark B. As he's too much speed. Oh, clobbers the wall. He's trying to get going again. He's tagging the wall again. Other cars are coming. Mark, oh, crazy Marv gets into the side. It spins him out again. Here comes Snake Oil when this, you can't even see it. Oh, I can't believe he gets through that. Let's get on board with Snake Oil. That's awesome. Doesn't, can't tell anything's going on as he comes up the corner can see Crazy Mar, but around the corner there's Mark B. Gets through the whole thing without contact. Holy cow. So let's look at your top five finishing drivers. Bringing it home fifth, Crazy Mar, who's really been stepping it up in Formula Rock competition over the last five or six weeks. Bags himself another top five finish in the Drooper's Drive. Great run for Crazy Mar to fifth place. In fourth, another good run for the Tennessee Vols driver, number 60, Dixie Dan. Ran as high as third, just stayed patient, watched what he was doing, and brings that home or brings that car home with a great fourth place finish. Despite getting booted from the server, gets back, loses some laps, works his way back up. Number 17, Snake Oil, manages to pad his points lead with another fine, outstanding drive to third place. Nice run. Despite missing third gear which is impossible nearly impossible to do at this racetrack Mark B soldiers on has some problems screwed up his his rhythm yet manages second place nice run for Mark B but bagging the victory I know he wasn't very happy after the contact or granted free but hey you know stuff happens it was a mistake or it was an accident it wasn't anything on purpose a scuba one takes the victory and enjoy it man <laughs> accidents happen a scuba one bags the victory nice job yeah, that's right. It's Carnage event number 13. Our inaugural season, however. The pace car is in, and on the pole, number 327, Camaro guy, 327, stands on the gas. Dixie Dan right behind him. What we discovered, uh, slick, tired Indy cars on dirt will cause this, as DVD is the first to find out. Very slippery out there. DVD spins her out, but keeps it going. That's going to happen to a lot of people. The battle up front. Dixie Dan trying to... Oh! Oh, Camaro guy 327 spins. He led a lap, the opening lap, but the car gets away from him. A little clip from Dixie Dan. He's in the wall. He's trying to get going again. And then out of the, Oh, no. Oh. Huge hit as he tried to get going again from a scuba one. The motor blows, and Camaro guy is out of the race. Let's look at a scuba one. He's right behind Crazy Marv. Can't see through the dirt. Oh, man. Camaro guy is just there, and he's stuck against the wall, and that's a tow truck call for a scuba one. Ouch. All right, the battle up front. Dixie Dan has the lead. Mark B trying to take it away. Lap number three. 
in third place. Number three, Randy 03, started fourth, having a good run in the early stages in third place. All right, then. You're looking at Row Warrior in fourth. Just took it away from Snake Oil, who's now in fifth place as we come through turns three and four in sixth. Crazy Marv, seventh, Lance Mofo Noob. Good fighting out on this very slippery dirt track with these slick tires. Randy R3 in third place has Row Warrior behind him in fourth. These two guys are very experienced dirt drivers, but the car just gets away from Randy R3. Those slick tires on dirt is just brutal. Very tricky to drive on. The battle up front. Oh, it's getting away from Mark B. Both leaders are involved. Watch Row Warrior split the difference and take over the lead. Awesome move. Let's look at that again. Row Warrior just drives between the two lead cars and takes over the lead from third place. Nice move. This is the battle for third. Dixie Dan back up to speed. Snake Oil on the outside. Crazy Marv trying to get through the... the oh, we got four cars running neck and neck or side by side. Look at this bunch of cars. That's a recipe for disaster right there. As we come out of turn four down the start finish or the front straight we're going to go three wide that can't be good we got contact oh we got a big accident right there let's take a look at that again crazy marv dives low but the car shoots up gets into dixie dan gets into mark b we got cars crashing everybody it's carnage racing what can you expect randy or three now in seventh place the car gets away from him again he spins it out again and that drops him the last an experienced dirt driver that's gotta hurt that hurt your pride right there. All right. Crazy Marv, another experienced dirt driver. Gets a little bump in the back from Lance Mofo Noob. Ooh, he's into the wall, but he manages to keep it going. As Dixie Dan goes by. Oh, we got contact. We got cars everywhere. Oh, Dixie Dan in the wall. Everybody continues on. All right. Your leader, Ran or Row Warrior, now puts a lap on Randy R3. Row Warrior out front, dropping Randy R3 a lap down in ninth position as we... Soldier on in this 25 lap event. DBD now in third. It's the fight for third. DBD and Mark B battling it out for the third spot. And Mark B takes that position away. Excuse me, that's the fourth spot. All right, then. In second at this stage, Lance Mofo Noob holding off Snake Oil, who's in third. Lance Mofo Noob is really, really coming into his own in the Carnage series. Up into second place in the early stages of this 25 lap event. Snake Oil getting loose coming off the corner. Oh, Oh, smacks that wall. So easy to lose control on these slick tires on dirt. All right, then. Everybody continues, though. Side-by-side -side racing. This is the fight for, for third spot. Mark B going by. Ooh, a ah, little contact. Mark B takes over third. We got side-by-side -side racing between DBD and Lance Mofo Noop now. Coming down the break. Oh, contact. This can't be good. It's a, oh, it's a big wreck. That's a big accident right there. Let's take a look at that again. DBD and Lance Mofanoop side by side. Contact sends them both into the wall. We've got altitude going on right here. DBD lands on his wheels and tries to get going again right in front of the leader. Oh, big contact with Row Warrior. That's going to allow Randy R3 to get back on the lead lap right there. Row's got major damage. Let's take a look at that again. This is your leader, number 53. Row Warrior coming to turn three and four. DBD's trying to get going. Contact. Oh, and the motor lets go for Row. Oh, that's going to be serious damage for Row Warrior. On board with Randy R3, who's a lap down at this stage. Contact between the leader and DBD. Randy R3 goes around the outside, gets back on the lead lap, and that will be good for him later on in this event. All right, then you're looking at Snake Oil and Crazy Marv. Contact sends Snake Oil into the wall. This is, car this is carnage racing, which means anything can happen at any time. Snake Oil manages to continue while we're always losing it, but <laughs> saves it. After many laps in the pits, the Scuba One is back on the track, calling it out, saying he's out for carnage. We gotta watch out for a Scuba One the rest of this event. We thought Lance Mofonu Oh, we thought Lance Mofonu would be able to continue on, but the motor lets go, and he is done. Row Warrior continues on despite being called into the pits. His car is a wreck. He's gonna finish many laps down in eighth after leading the most laps. All right, contact between. Scuba One contacts with Dixie Dan. Randy R3 now goes by the damaged car. Row Warrior, that puts him into fourth place after being a lap down. Randy R3 in the top four now at the midway distance. DVD back out of the pits after a long stop. He's right behind Dixie Dan as we continue on with him. Only, whoa, contact with DVD and, uh, and Crazy Marv and Snake Oil. Big wreck. Randy R3 goes by. That moves him into third. Seconds later, the leader has a scuba one behind him, spins him out, puts him in the wall as he's trying to get going again. 
He's going to come down across the track right in front of second running Dixie Dan. We got a big, ooh, huge contact there as well. Let's go on board. This is interesting. Rainier three and fourth. Big contact in front of him. Gets crazy Marvin Snake one involved. Rainier three ducks low. That moves him into third place. He's behind DBD and eases off because he doesn't want to get involved in a wreck. Seconds later, he sees Dixie Dan down on the bottom. And that moves Randy R3 into second. And that's the leader just in front of DBD ahead of him. So now we've got Mark being the lead with lapped car DBD behind him. That's always a risky thing in a carnage event. All right, and right behind that duel is Randy R3 now up to second place, just hoping that something bad happens for the leader as we're running out of laps in this 25-lap oval event. Snake Oil has managed to get himself back up into fifth place. Whoa, getting sideways saves it. After getting clobbered, he's up into fifth place. All right, your leader comes up on a scuba one. That's risky. Knowing a scuba one's out for blood, DVD's going to take a shot. Carnage Racing puts the leader into the wall big time. And Randy R3 is going to dive underneath this. Let's take a look at that again. Ooh. Randy, or well, excuse me, DVD takes a shot at the leader. Oh, puts him in the wall hard. DVD on his lid as well. Randy R3 dives low. Uh, that's going to change the complexion of this race. Let's look at that again. You're on board with Randy R3. The two guys are fighting up front. DBD is going to slam into Mark B. Randy R3 sees the axe and it goes to the bottom and takes over the lead of the race with four laps to go, but knows that a scuba one wants was out for blood. So let's, this is what you do, folks, in a carnage event. you got to think about it. Randy R3 breaks, then gasses it to throw a scuba one off. A scuba one tries to take Randy R3 out, but misses. Randy R3 knows the scuba one is out for blood, so as he comes into turn three, he's going to slam on the brakes, throwing off a scuba one who misses, slams the wall. Then Randy R3 gasses it and hits the scuba one in the back, spins him out, and protects his lead with only a lap or two to go. You're now on, <laughs> you're now on board with Crazy Mart. Folks, you've got to protect yourself in a carnage race. That's what carnage racing is all about. It's either wrecking or protecting yourself. Look at the closing up of Crazy Mart with only a lap to go. Randy R3 comes off a of turn four. One lap to go, the white flag is out. Crazy Marv is all over him trying to take the position. As Randy R3 goes through turns one and two, he sees that Scuba One breaks, lets the Scuba One miss him again, and it's all about the end of this race. Bringing it home in fifth place, your points leader, number 17, Snake Oil, got caught up in stuff none of his making, but still will hang on for fifth place when this race is over. Nice run for our points leader with seven races to go. Bringing it home in fourth despite this moment. Loses it on slick tires. Oh, clobbers that wall. He's going to park that thing right on the start finish line, but Mark B will take fourth place. Bringing it home in a wrecked car. Number 60, Dixie Dan. Soldiers on, regardless of what his pick crew and the flagman's telling him, and he will get third place in that damaged car. Did everything he could all over the leader, number 78, Crazy Marv. He's going to have to settle for second place despite getting within two seconds of the leader as the laps ran out. But Randy R3 throwing every countermeasure he had at a scoop of one. He was really trying to take him out. Randy R3 is going to bag his second carnage victory, but first on the dirt, <laughs> driving through Mark B, who was trying to block the track. So Randy R3 takes the victory. He's going to do his celebration donuts on the racetrack. Nice win for the number three driver. And don't feel bad for a scuba one. He tried his best to take him out, but after the race was over, he's finally going to get a chance to... There he goes. He finally gets to hit Randy R3. Of course, the race was over. didn't really matter. So as we watch the final laps, first, your results from St. Petersburg. Want to thank everyone for showing up. Next week, folks, we're off to OWR Monaco, one of the, the oldest races in the world. An incredible track. A lot of it just first gear. Looking forward to that race. Monaco is just an incredible, incredible race. Looking forward to it. Thank you all for running, and congratulations to Scuba One on that victory. Next week, we're going to be back on a dirt oval. It might be this one. I have another one we might be running on. This is the some, somewhere, someplace else oval. We might also run on the Gorilla Snut oval. I haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, thanks to everyone for showing up and competing with us, as we say every week. Uh, Randy R3, very happy after this dirt race. Has won a lot of dirt races, you know, but not for the last three or four years. It had a great time. Anyway, thanks for racing. We'll see you all next week.